It is the end of 2019, October, and Caesars Entertainment is changing hands as we speak. They will be selling off properties in Vegas. In the near future, they just sold the Rio. In the last couple days, the MGM Corporation has sold a couple casinos. They sold the Bellagio to the Blackstone Wall Street money changers. And they also sold Circus Circus to Phil Ruffin. Phil Ruffin bought the Circus Circus property from MGM for $825 million. Now, if you want the complete whole story on why these sales are happening and why they will continue to go down in the future, I mean, if you want to know why the MGM and the Caesars Entertainment Las Vegas monopoly is coming to an end and what their end game is all about, Go to the Bravo Von Mueller channel, and there you will get the whole complete story. In my latest video on the Bravo Von Mueller channel, this will explain the CIA casinos, the 666 gang, and their secret plan. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the Washington, D.C. Beltway criminals. But anyhow, go over there if you want the whole complete story because it is, it is deep. We will not go down that rabbit hole here because it's too early in the day and I don't want you to miss your dinner. So what are the facts here? Okay, the Caesars Entertainment MGM Monopoly in Vegas, it's coming to an end here. It took the 2008-09 recession and the 2020 recession that is coming up as it was the one-two punch that is going to put an end to the monopoly. But here, what we got today is the MGM, again, selling off two of their properties. And they apparently, the MGM wants to become a landless casino operating company. I'll say that again. MGM does not want to own any of the land or any of the buildings. MGM wants to become a landless casino operating company. They want to own the casino, and they want to sell the property, but lease it back. For example, okay, the MGM sold uh, the Bellagio for $4.25 billion. That's with a B. Again, they sold the Bellagio for $4.25 billion to the Blackstone Wall Street Money Changer uh, Corporation. And, but there's a, it's a lease deal. In this lease it back deal, the MGM uh, is going to give Blackstone $245 million a year in lease money so they can run the casino. And again, if you, if you want to know why this is going down, why, why would the MGM sell the land and the building for $4.25 billion but then lease it back from Blackstone and give Blackstone $245 million a year, if you really know, want to know why this has happened, Go back to the beginning of the video, you know, where I tell you where to go to. Again, the Bravo Von Mueller channel. That's where we really go down that rabbit hole. I mean, you're going to find out everything. And by the time you crawl out of that rabbit hole, I mean, you're going to know who Steven Schwartzman is. I mean, he's the guy who runs Blackstone. You're going to find out about his time at Lehman Brothers. I mean, you're going to find out about how General Motors invested in Schwartzman. I mean, okay, let's get back to the basics here. Okay. MGM paid over $2 billion, that's with a B, MGM paid over $2 billion for the Bellagio. When you factor in the price that they paid Steve Wynn, back when they got these properties for Steve Wynn, they got the Bellagio, they got the Mirage, and they got the Treasure Island, MGM paid $6.2 billion for the, all three of those properties when Steve Wynn when they bought Steve Wynn out. And so when you factor in that the MGM paid over $2 billion for the Bellagio, but now they're getting $4.25 billion. Again, it's really not that bad of a deal, but really where the sticky point is, is that they have to lease it back. They're going to lease the prop, they're going to lease the casino back from Blackstone, and they're going to give Blackstone, um, what, $245 million a year. A year. I mean, you, you're probably thinking, what in the hell is that all about? Like I said, go over to the Bravo Von Mueller channel, and there we will climb down that deep, dark rabbit hole.